Out of the Box continues on Q1043. Jonathan Clark joined live in the studio by our good friend Peter Shapiro, who is the producer of the seventh annual Jammy Awards, uh, happening this Wednesday night at the Wamu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Peter, welcome back. Good to be here as always. And uh, well, you were here recently talking about another sort of small project you were involved in, U2 3D. How's that going? It's going great. Uh, it's actually now really playing well uh, all over the world. It opens actually this weekend in uh, Russia and Chile. I just wow. Heard. Great so, reviews uh, for that too, and I'll, you know how much I loved it. So yeah, no, it was uh, a great experience. Uh, so the Jammies are back for 2008. So the first question comes to mind is, what happened in 2007? You guys just took a year off, or you know, with the Jammies is you know about celebrating improvisation, right. and uh, you know, so we decided to make a improvisational move and skip a year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. We had a lot going on, and uh, we actually just did this Green Apple Festival. Green Apple Music and, uh, Festival, yeah. yeah all, and, and we were growing that and decided we were overwhelmed and, and making a movie called U2 3D and said, you know, we'll just we'll, we'll call an audible right, and yeah. skip a year. And as I recall, 2006, the Green Apple Music Festival and the Jammies was the same weekend. That's correct. On 420, exactly. as I recall. <laughs> you got it right. Actually, since the last Jammies, we've done three Green Apples. because we've Unbelievable. Been three in two years, so we've been busy, but we are really excited. It's going to be on Wednesday. Great night. Lineup, man. We're feeling really good about what's going to go down. Well, briefly, for the small group of listeners that might not know what the Jammy Awards is, how it started, when it started, just give us a sort of brief overview on that again. Yeah, in uh, 2000, uh, I used to own a rock club downtown called Wetlands, and uh, along with Dean Budnick, who is the founder of a website called jambands.com, right. we decided that was the height of boy bandom. Yeah, all the boy, you know, in sync and backstreet. Nothing against them, but that was what was going on. Right, exactly. And we felt, and and being in the epicenter of it all at Wetlands and with the website, you know, there was another scene going on. Yeah. Uh, and the jam band scene was really uh, th thriving, and we felt uh, it was the appropriate time to create an event that celebrated music that was uh, creative, of the moment. Not four and a half minute songs, you know, and and uh, we wanted to celebrate that, so we created the first jammies uh, and had it at Irving Plaza. Uh, and we've gotten it much bigger yeah, and better over the years. And yeah. uh, so this year's Jammy Awards, you got two co-hosts. Who are your co-hosts this year? We have uh, Grace Potter from Vermont, who's uh, a great, great singer. Yeah, man. great wow. singer. She's easy on the eyes. Great yeah. singer. Uh -huh. Plays the guitar and got a, you know, a little Janice to her. Yeah, she does. And yeah. but you know, look, it looks a little like the Ferg, you know, she's got she's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She's, she's got, got it going, going on. on. Yeah. yeah. And um and Warren Haynes will be uh, to her side. One of the busiest and, men in show business. Exactly. Yeah. So we uh, we're, we're really thrilled about this. We've had some great hosts over the years, from John Popper to Robert Randolph to Phil Lesh. Phil Lesh, yeah. Uh, the last time we had um, Mickey Hart and Bill Kreutzman, the Rhythm Devils. Rhythm Devils, yeah. So we're excited about Warren and Grace, and they'll both be obviously playing well, uh, you know, several times through the night, too. And at least one award that I know of is a special award. That you're giving out this yes. year. Because let's not forget, it is an award show as well as a concert. It is. It's about 95% music, but yeah. there's an important 5% that's the awards exactly. uh, that we'll give out. that all celebrate live music, uh, whether it's the tour of the year and the live performance of the year. Uh, but obviously, we're also doing a, a lifetime achievement like we always do, and we're pretty excited about it. And what that is going to? It's going to four men from Vermont, like Grace, uh, to the band Fish. Wow. And, and, and I hear, it's not confirmed that they're all probably going to be there right you know no we we, we uh we'll see what happens right. night of we'll see what happens the night of and but uh, we're, we are pretty up, excited they might pick up a guitar you never know crazy things happen right we we we're, it's going to be a great night well <laughs> uh, yeah it always is and, and i'm giving out an award you guys have uh, let me do this a couple years in a row and uh i think i'm going to give out song of the year yeah or well we got like you know that. wouldn't be a jammies we got to have uh Q104 wrapped, and, and most importantly, we, we, th we think very highly of what you uh, do oh. here to push not just classic rock, which we love, but also new music. Yeah, and it's absolutely. important you bring that to the station. Well, we got another and, cool lineup. You were just sort of yeah. referencing it. Let's talk about the lineup. I have in my notes here, and, and you can go on, <laughs> but I got Booker T. Jones, Chevy Chase, evidently, from Saturday he can play. Night Live. We're going to find out. He, he, he can play. He was a college bandmate of Donald Fagan and Walter Becker back in the day. Uh, let's see, Dougie Fresh, Glenn Tilbrook from Squeeze, Leslie West, uh, Modest Yahoo, uh, and I know there's like a million more people. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. Galactic, Fab Foe. 
You may right. know the great, you know, yep. the guys from Letterman and Conan's band who do yeah. the Beatles, unlike anyone else. They're going to do an amazing collaboration that uh, I wish I could tell you more about, but I'd and have to kill you about if I did. Because it, it is, the Jimmy's are all about <laughs> Yeah, what you'll see is all night, like you mentioned Leslie West from Mountain, who's, you know, very famous, you know, Mississippi Queen. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised maybe you see a Mississippi Queen with Leslie with a great young band. You know, yeah. that's how we'll do it. Uh, I would look for Booker T to, uh, from Booker T and the MGs, of course, to collaborate with another great young band. And, and some of the young bands we have are Galactic from New Orleans, great band. Rose Hill Drive, great band from Colorado, killer rock band. You know what my friend... Tea uh, Leaf Green. Yeah, yeah, you know? And so bands. you'll mix these guys like Glenn Provo Tilburg of Squeeze. We'll do Squeeze hits with one of... You know, we, we try not to let everyone know who's playing with who, but people listening can probably figure it all out. But it's going to be really an amazing night. We have a jazz segment we're doing where it'll be some of the best jazz players alive Roy Haynes Nicholas Payton Christian McBride right. James Carter I remember we'll McCoy all... Tyner from two yeah, years ago which was amazing and those guys will all collaborate with our, you know, our rock musician that everyone here knows so, it's so. funny because my friend Scott Lasky uh, over at MSG Network he said you know this is like it's like the Pro Bowl it's like an all-star game it's like A-Rod and David Wright getting together it's like that's what it's like you get these amazing players from all kinds of leagues and teams and spectrums and everything getting together. Yeah, and, and it's just, a party. And, and it's know, a big fun. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, party it's and celebration. Party. And you know what? And it, it's not about, you know, and it's important all these events that happen. And I just did one celebrating, you know, Earth Day that are about something and have yeah. a cause and ethos. And, and, and that's usually what these get togethers are about. But this is one that's really just about the music. Yeah. You know, there is nothing to it other than celebrating great live performance instrumentalization or if that's a word yeah <laughs> it, you know pe people who play really uh, instruments uh, and we want to celebrate it. and people also who you may not hear you know on the pop radio station on MTV selling right. 5 million records but people who are touring you know yeah. 250 days a year but if you go to jammies.com J A M M Y S dot com. That'll send you how to get tickets. And also, we have a big after party at BB King's that Galactic is headlining. Oh, man. That'll Those start at midnight parties. and it'll go Don't through to the wee years. The yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> to see a bunch of the acts come over. Uh, but, well, um, speaking of those tickets, yeah. we, we are close to selling out, but uh, we actually have uh, a couple pairs of tickets for the first two callers right now on the toll free listener line 1 888 872 1043 for the 7th Annual Jammy Awards happening this Wednesday night, May 7th, Wamu Theater at Madison Square Garden. So, Peter, you're always up to something. If it's not the Jammies, it's U2 3D. What What's going on for Peter in uh, 2008? I gotta, well, you know, I used to own uh, the Rock Club Wetlands. Yes. And it took me a while to find the new next venue that I was going to do. I had to be, you know, really thought about it and wanted to do it right. But uh, right now we're building uh, a really exciting space in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Nice, Williamsburg. Uh, I think is the new, you know, when Wetlands opened in 1989 in Tribeca, this is kind of what that was. You don't know. If yeah, exactly. It's just 20 years later. Um, and it's going to be a, a really exciting venue that is going to combine live music uh, actually with bowling in a really awesome, exciting <laughs> That's way. That's awesome. And it's going to be done, I think, uniquely and... Um, we're really excited about it. It's called Brooklyn Bowl, and, and that's going to be coming at the end of the year. BrooklynBowl.com. Wow, that's fantastic. Now you have another bar, too, downtown, don't you Yeah, still? the Slipper Room I'm a partner in, which is on the Lower East Side. But that's right. less rock. That's, uh, a lot, that's, that's a lot of fun also, but it's right. a different kind of thing. Less live music There are and no more. bowling alleys in the Slipper no, Room. No, but there's beautiful women, and it's a burlesque kind of cabaret vibe, which is also a lot of fun and oh, creative. Man. And, Everyone's but I, opening bars. i got to open a well, bar or something. Jeez. We'll, we'll get you a beer. But I think, <laughs> but, speaking of which, the jam is one of the nice things. It's just fun. You know, and I think you'll see a lot of the music that's played. Is, and these collaborations, they're not five minutes like you'll see on our award yeah. shows. We'll do 20-minute collaborations. Oh, yeah. you know, it's a four-plus-hour show. It's a nice, long show. Yeah, I look for it. You mentioned Chevy Chase. One thing I can tell you, we're going to uh, have a collaboration with Keller Williams, who's a oh, great yeah. multi-instrumentalist. Right. Keller and Chevy are going to collaborate. And what, is, what does Chevy Chev play? Chevy plays guitar? piano. He's going to play the grand piano. Oh, okay. So we'll, well see what he pulls out. Peter Shapiro, again, thank you so much for coming by the show tonight. And uh, we'll see you Wednesday night at the 7th Annual Jammy Awards. Looking forward to it. For more info, you can go to Q1043.com, keywords out of the box. I got all the info there. Uh, of course, uh, jammies.com, J-A-M-M-Y-S.com. And, Peter, let's go back, shall we, to the last Jammy Awards <laughs> show. I believe it was April 2006. Same place, Wamu yep. Theater at MSG. On stage, Little Feet with Bela Fleck, Steve Kimmick, 
Kaimani Marley, Stephen Marley, Charlie Musselwhite, and the